Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone, to the channel IT Simplified. I hope you're having a good time with your family and friends. In today's session on Azure, I'm here to talk about uh, one of the commonly asked questions from my customers, at least, how I me move my on-prem data to the cloud, and specifically in case I have a large amount of data. Uh, it becomes tricky for a lot of customers who are trying to move that uh, in the cloud and use to all the benefits that uh, cloud has to offer. So today I'm gonna to talk about some of the options that uh, Azure unlocks in terms of moving the data. So when it comes to moving the data from on-prem to cloud, uh, in case you have terabytes of data, there are two options or basically under two categories, you can divide this. One option is offline data transfer. And the other is online. Depending upon in case you have a good benefit, you can choose one over the other. But most of the customers, at least I talk to, they prefer offline because they don't have that kind of connectivity uh, in terms of uh, bandwidth. So when it comes to offline, there are three options that you can get. One is data box disk. You have uh, data box. You have data box heavy. These are the three options when it comes to offline data transfer. And uh, when it comes to online, you have uh, data gateway. Let's look at this one by one. So when it comes to data box disk, you can order disk uh, up to one to five disk. So if you have data less than 40 terabyte, you can use the data box disk in order to move the data. So anything less than 40 terabyte. Each disk can hold up to, it has a capacity of eight terabyte, but the usable is seven terabytes. So I will say seven times five is 35. That is how much data you can move, right? when it comes to data box test. The second option is the data box. In case you have uh, data up to, because it has a capacity of 100 terabyte, the usable capacity is 80 terabytes. So if you fall in this category, you can use uh, data box in order to move the data. And then you have data box heavy for enterprise customers who have uh, hundreds of terabytes of data because it has a capacity of one terabyte and the usable capacity or usable storage you can use is 70 terabyte. So all these three options fall under the offline data transfer, right? And the data can be uploaded to block blob. page blob, Uh, you can upload the data to manage disk. Sorry, just trying to write. And even file storage. So all these options are available for you depending upon what you want to do, right? You can upload the data in any of these storage. So these are, the, these are the three options when it comes to offline data transfer, but you also have the option of transferring the data online. So if you have a good bandwidth, say for example, in, the, in, in terms of one gigabit per second or 10 gigabit per second, you can use data gateway. So what does this involve? This involves a virtual appliance that you can deploy on a Hyper-V or on a VMware environment. And then this will act as a channel, so it will transfer the data from on-prem to the cloud. And depending upon what is the restrictions in terms of capacity of the storage account. So I know that in my area, the storage account capacity is five terabytes. So this much amount of data you'll be able to store or upload. And it can be uploaded to uh, block blob, page blob, 
file storage. So good for archival, those kind of stuff. Right. But these are the options that uh, you can utilize. So a lot of customers, they think about moving the data from on-prem to the cloud, but they are challenged because uh, they have vast amount of data. Sometimes they have good bandwidth, but most of the time uh, the connectivity between or the internet bandwidth is not that great. So you can choose between offline or online depending upon your situation. And let me actually quickly show you where you will find the service on the Azure portal. So if I go into the Azure portal and go to create a resource and uh, do a quick search for Azure Data Box. So you see I have Azure Data Box and Data Box Gateway. Both options are there. If I pick one of them and click on the Create button, here I can put, put my information. Transfer type will be import to Azure. What is your source country region? So say in case, in my case, it's Canada and the destination Azure region, depending upon whichever is closest to you. Let's pick Canada Central, I'll click on apply. And then it gives me the option of data box test, data box, data box heavy. So you can see that data box heavy is not available in my region. You can also send your own disk, so that option is there. But these are some of the ways you can uh, transfer the data in case we're talking about terabytes or even petabytes of data from on-prem to the cloud. So I hope this helps you when it comes to transfer of data. Uh, I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.